I have never said that there are any mistakes in the Quran. The Quran refers to that which came down from Allah. Nothing else is the Quran. Nothing else is the Quran. Only that which came down from Allah is the Quran. If you human beings put something in, is that also a part of the Quran? Answer me! No, that's not. Uh, and my Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I have never said any mistake in the Quran. Don't ever say that again. I have never said any mistake in the Quran. Allah protects the Quran. How can there be mistakes in the Quran? Can't you recognize the distinction between the Quran which came from Allah and that which people put in it? Is this so difficult? To tell me I'm making, saying there are mistakes in the Quran. Don't ever say that again. Okay. Allah separated the Quran into surahs. Did he not do that? Good. And then he says in the Quran, don't chop the Quran into pieces. And if you do that on judgment day, I'm going to question you. And you did it. You said that the first juz is up to 121 in Surah Al-Baqarah and then you chop the Quran. 141. And then you said the second juz is up to 252 in Surah Al-Baqarah and then you chop the Quran. Every copy of your Quran has that. So is that a mistake in the Quran? No. That's your mistake, not a mistake in the Quran. And I am correcting your mistake when I'm saying stop that chopping of the Quran. The Arab, the Fatah, the Kesra, the Dhamma. This is not a part of the Quran because Arabs don't need it. It is we who are not Arabs when we became Muslims. They got to put in human beings who eat dumbak or hai and go to the toilet. We are the ones who put in the fatah and the kasra and the dhamma. That didn't come from Allah. So if I say there's a mistake there, is that a mistake in the Quran? No, it's not. No, it's not. There is no mistake in the Quran. None. There are mistakes in what human beings did. Go ahead. <laughs> 